everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am out of the house, so I am recording. I have to take advantage of the fact that I'm in my car and it's probably the least um, difficult kind of video that I do. I just sit here and talk. I think I can handle that. I still have my cold and I've just been um, very exhausted the past few days. My energy levels are low. The coughing, you know, my lungs sound much better. I'm still coughing, but uh, it's clearing up, and I just, I'm at the stage where I'm just tired all the time. I can't do very much. I still have some videos coming your way. I have not forgotten about the Q&A that I promised you guys. That will be coming up when I feel up to it. And I'm also going to do something crafty. I just can't right now because I just don't have the, you know, the stamina to do it. And I also still have not looked at the panels that I said I would not look at until I record. And I haven't felt up to recording that, so I haven't looked at them. I'm anxious to feel up to that because I want to see what I got for panels. All right. I'm out because first I had to go have my boobs flattened out for a mammogram. My third. And it dawned on me that I think, I know I recorded for the first mammogram, which was probably two years ago, maybe three, I don't remember. But I know I was scared to death because I just never wanted a mammogram. I was afraid it was going to hurt. I don't like anything that I don't know how it's going to be. And some people say it's awful. Some people say it's not. So I just didn't know what to expect. And I seem to think I even did a ride along and chatted while I was in the car. That seems to be what I remember because I know I went to Kenny Bunk for that. So I don't know, but I'll link down below if you want to see me scared. I'm assuming I was scared and saying so. I might have even cried in that video. I don't know. I remember being elated after the fact. I had the same woman that I've had for, this is my third mammogram, and I've had the same woman each time. And this time, you know, because I'm so tired and, you know, you're standing up and kind of leaning over and there's some poses <laughs> where my, the side of my face was on something plastic and I'm, you know, holding on to around the machine and I wanted to fucking take a nap. I told her, I was like, oh, please, let's just stay like this. I was like, oh my God, that's bad when a mammogram pose is comfort. <laughs> Oh, and then since I was out, I went to Rogers, and I stocked up on meat. The porterhouse was still six ninety nine. I'll show you, and per pound, and um, and then my mother wanted needs bread, and I thought I'm gonna run by Family Dollar for that because she likes the bread here, and I also picked up a couple of other things. I still have to swing by the post office to mail three eBay winnings. I'll say the first names, Shannon from Sanger, Texas, Renee from Lubbock, Texas, we're in a Texas mood, Kristen from North Lawrence, Ohio, so all your packages are being mailed today, okay, let's start with Family Dollar, I, like I said, specifically was here for bread, so let's start with the bread, I got my mother two loaves, 135 each of this oven fresh white bread that she loves so much. I also got two dozen eggs, 150 per dozen. They rang up at 169 and I said, uh, it says 150 on the door. She goes, oh, she goes, well, this includes the tax. I said, no, it doesn't ring up including tax. It's just, uh, it's so funny when people just come out with something. They have no idea. And I said, can you just check? I mean, I was just curious because now it just bugged me. It bugs me when they just say something for the sake of saying something. It's like, uh, no, we do not have tax rung up in the price. The tax is after the fact. So two loaves of that. I'm hoping I have room in the freezer for everything. I got my mother two of these French uh, French twirls. We call them cream horns. They were a dollar for the two. And then I picked up this little bag of chocolates for her. I don't know, a buck for that. 
and a buck for spice drops. I don't think she has any like jelly kind of things. I haven't picked up a tub of those jelly orange slices or whatever um, that I usually get at Walmart. So I got her that. She's sick too. She has this cold and she's a week behind me. So she's still pretty sick, but we're getting there. Okay, that was it at Family Dollar. At Rogers, I got a gallon of a milk for $3.75, I do believe. Oh, I can't dilly-dally because I got my mother two orange blossom bars. They're like a creamsicle or dreamsicle. I think there's two kinds. Ooh, they're getting melty. 50 cents a piece. Two for a buck, so I went with it. For meat, I got, uh, I, it was turkey day, $2.99 per pound for deli turkey, white deli turkey, and I got two pounds like that. I picked up, I don't know, like maybe six or seven porterhouse steaks, $6.99 per pound. They look like this. So fucking good. It's like meat melt in your mouth goodness. I just fry them in a pan on high on each side for like a minute each side and then I turn it down and I just let it sit there sometimes you know five minutes and then I'll just turn it off and let it rest for like 15 minutes and they're perfect for me I like them rare to medium rare I don't like more than that okay so there's one two oh here's um chicken that I got for 79 cents per pound drumsticks and uh, so this was only 214 for this package of chicken. <laughs> and I'm hungry because I didn't have a porterhouse at home and I wanted to wait and make sure I could get one. I was going to pay anything just to make sure I had that. And then I was going to look for a sale and go shopping. He said he thinks they're going to be $6.99 next week also. Okay, so I had two there, three, four, five. And then I picked up this T-bone, which is exactly like a porterhouse, only there's less of this side, which is the filet mignon side. And um, I got it for $4.99 per pound reduced at, uh, so I paid $5.41 for this. So I got that for dessert. <laughs> and then I tried a boneless New York sirloin. Now we used to get this when I was young, when I was not maybe a kid, but I don't know. My father was big on buying boneless New York sirloin, and I hope I don't fuck it up by cooking it wrong, but $5.99 a pound, so it's eight bucks for this one steak, and I thought I would try it. I just want to try now a lot of cuts of the more expensive beef, because I'm done eating shit. I want good, good steak. It's all I practically eat is, you know, beef, so I want good, good beef. You know, and I'm not spending on potato chips or, God forbid, booze, beer, vodka, all that stuff. I used to spend a lot of money on that shit, and I don't do that anymore. Not for a long time, so I'm buying good meat. But I'm still going to try to find sales. And one thing I'd like to do is start looking at the flyers for Market Basket. Now, I have an option in Biddeford or New Hampshire, Rochester. And I would choose to go to Rochester because I go the Biddeford way a lot for appointments and different things so just for a change of scenery I would go to Rochester but I want to try to see like when they have meat sales and see how much I can fit in my freezer and go there and buy stuff for my mother non-perishables for her that I can stock up on I need to fix the pantry so I have room for her canned goods so a lot of plans I just need to get better I need to feel better I don't feel good right now I would like to start doing some market basket tag-alongs and I would bring the camera in because nobody there has ever told me not to. That's all I got and I really do have to boogie because of those ice cream bars. Where the hell are they? Right here. And I still have to run to the PO to bring those in. Then I have to run by my property to bring some recycling outside my rental property which is ugh, just... Uh, Ugh, it's going to be the year of hell. I'm anxious for all of this to be over, but it's not going to be over for a long time. Because I know, I know I'm going to drag it out and uh, just avoid doing things. 
All right, I'm going to stop now. Was there anything else I needed to tell you? I don't think so. I just wanted to chat with you guys. Please, please, please let me get better, and then I will be having videos for you guys. I'm trying to work on a new way for my schedule so that I can guarantee that I get videos done that I want to do, like at least one crafty video per week. I want to do that. Maybe sewing, maybe crochet, you know, just alternating. But right now, I'm doing none per week. I haven't done anything crafty in over two months. So I need to get back to that. And it's a matter of just being overwhelmed and having way too much to do and not having things scheduled. I do really well on a schedule. But of course, I had a lot of things that got in the way, like my trip. I had two trips to Memphis, like two months apart, and now I will have Skylar this coming summer. I'm getting her at the end of June, and then I, um, you know, I was sick, and of course I have fabric sales, and those have to continue because I need that as part of my income. So I'm trying to work everything out in a way where I can make it all work, and I'm pretty sure I can do it. All right, you guys, I'm going to hang up now, and I will be back with more soon. Bye!